What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more dramatic camera zoom in and out. In the last episode, we got bombs! And I haven't even shown them yet. Pull them out, go, huah! Explode! Boom! <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> so dumb. Um, oh, I'm actually curious. This is the first consumable item we get in the game. I'm pretty sure. And I think it's Skyward Sword, you play in hero mode, you actually don't get things like bombs and such, consumable items. The only way to get them is by, like, um, going, buying them at stores and such. Yeah, sorry, I, I explained that weirdly. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can't, like, find bombs or any, like, consumables. Is this cute or gross? G good question. Well, first off, why are you taking a picture of sleeping children that isn't yours, AJ, at the Tower of the Gods, wherever place that is? I don't freaking know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Sorry, uh, in Tiro Mode and Skyward Sword, I'm pretty dang sure if you break uh, pots and grass and all that, you don't get consumable items back, and you have to buy them from, like, stores and stuff. I wonder if that's the same about this game. Just have to wait and see. And if so, I'm gonna highly regret, like, just using that bomb up. Anyways! This uh, dude over here. Good evening. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here's your letter. Oh boy, he sneaks on the ground. Nora's from Beetle Shop Ship. It is time for a semi-annual Big Chance Extravaganza. We have a new pro. Or this is that should be the Beetle's voice. We have a new product that we've personally seen. Bombs. Oh, we're having an extra special sale on this choice for a little one time only. You'll know where to find. Us by checking the enclosed Beetle Shop ship chart. Visit a Beetle Shop ship near you today. Offer not available in all regions. Don't miss this huge opportunity. Beetle. Love Beetle. How do you know where we lived? You got Beetle's chart and you can see where to find Beetle's floating shop ships. From the chart on the map screen to view it. That's actually pretty useful. You might be thinking, isn't Beetle's chi or shop ship thing at every island? But no, it's really not. And we'll see relatively quickly that it's, I mean, it's, it's on quite a bit of the islands, but there's really not too many of them, and it's it's weird. This the game's pretty much way of admitting that, hey, there's multiple beetles for some really weird reason. <laughs> so yeah, I was, it almost looks like, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, uh, I, I don't know what I was going to say. Anyways, uh, you'll see there's actually one different looking beetle here. Two squares left and one down from where, I'm, from where I am right now. More on that later, alligator. But that'll actually be helpful if I'm like running out low on health or something. And I go to beetle shop and maybe get a potion. Are you still selling potions? Actually, are you selling bombs now, Mr. Sir? No, you're not. What? 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 Oh, they're both arrows. What the heck? Why are you not selling bombs? <laughs> you literally just told me. Well, he did say it's not available everywhere, I think, right? Dude, there's too many of these bottles every time I load the game in and out. Well done! Our pre preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning. How'd you hear that? You must be able to jump on and get the pearl from them before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Link. It's interesting how this guy actually has access to talk to us through that gem as well. Um, even though Tetra said that, you know, only she sh Where's the fish, actually? I think he's over here. See another bottle. I'm not gonna go for it. Let's see if we can see this fish real quick. Oh, did you see him? The best time to look for him is when the lightning strikes. No, that was an island in the distance. Might be over here somewhere. Where is he? See another bottle. Wait, wait, do I hear splash? Splishy splash? There he is! I thought I heard splishy splashing. Let's get more items out. You know what? Let's let's play it awesome here and place that bait up there. Even though we have the island, this island already on our um, chart, I still do want to see what he says about this place. Hey, small fry! Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's already on there. I don't know why he's doing this, to be fair. It's kind of weird. Wait, what? It's not on here, really? That's so weird. Huh. That's really weird, actually. On the cape of this island, there's a crazy dancing fool who can't tell day from night. The guy's nuts, but you you got to respect someone who's not afraid to just let it all hang out like that, you know? What? I've been watching him, thinking I'd try to learn that dance and compete with him from here in the ocean, but I just can't seem to swing that crazy funky rhythm it is. You should try teach him with it, 
his true rhythm with a baton smile fry show him what it's all about that's all the info I've got the offer hmm interesting with that I'm off okay so we need to get to yeah yeah outside of Ireland which is all the way down here and I guess we're just gonna go south and then west so so to use this, maybe I'll just maybe I'll only visit a few islands, <laughs> cause that is quite far away, and I don't want to visit every island because that will take forever. I mean, this is a pretty far distance to sprawl. Oh, I may be like spending all the time to go island, go to islands that we're going to be going to anyways. Yo, bro, I heard you like bombs. We'll put bombs in your bombs for one thousand rupees, or ten thousand rupees. <laughs> Great, fantastic, ten out of ten, mate. Another circle of light there, but I'm already maxed on rupees. I was curious to see if there's anything besides rupees in those, but whatever. We'll we'll ignore it for now. Whee! All right, so we're heading back to our uh, our home, which we haven't been there in what 20 episodes now. That's crazy. It's crazy. Maybe it'll we'll finally turn daytime. Say all this rain, man. All this thunderstorm and rains. Stupid rains. We're not horses. We don't need no rains. Ooh, <gasps> what's this? All right, now this is kind of really risky, but I'm gonna try it out. There's actually a pretty low chance I might fail this, but let's go try this out here. Some of you might know what I'm about to do. Dez from Windfall Island. Where's that cowardly man that that the Indian guy said was scared or something? I don't know what to do. I don't know. We've actually met the cowardly man already, but more on that later. That is related to a cyclist. Ooh, look, it's a bottle. Are you serious, Map Fish? You're all the way over here. Actually, let's go to them since we're here. We're right in front of them. We might as well. Uh, oh, actually, do I have this island ready? I don't think I do, right? No, I do not. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that almost doomed me there. All right, so they're actually running for the on bait. It's weird. You get so much bait, and you're like, oh, no. Don't swim away, fish. Don't swim away. I have food for you. I have food for you. The hitbox with these fish are kind of weird. At least they were in the last game. I haven't troubles with it yet, but... You'll often, you'll throw the bait and the fish will be right there, but he won't you know, notice it for some reason. You'll have to throw more bait for him. This greedy bastard, even though not really, because the food just kind of disappears and he doesn't eat it. Northern Triangle Island. Interesting. Let me, let me tell you something, small fry. The school on Windfall Island has one gorgeous teacher. <laughs> what? <laughs> the thing is, the gang of four little hoodlums is always causing trouble for her. These little delinquents like to cause all sorts of trouble. They go climbing trees and hiding behind buildings instead of going to school. What a bunch of savages. Someone's gotta scold those scoundrels and set them straight for the sake of the poor teacher. You hear me, Fry? So, some of these fish actually don't give you information pertaining to the island itself. Which typically means that the island is boring and there's nothing interesting about it. You know what, let's try this out. So we're gonna come to this giant tornado here. Ooh, this guy looks familiar. Foolish creature who does not fear the gods. To the end of the sea with you, let the winds of Cyclops' wrath blow you away. Uh-oh. Um, um, we have bombs! We have bombs! Well, that didn't go well, now did it. <laughs> you can actually see a bomb there if you look closely to the left, the bottom left of the screen. Or is it gonna put me? Oh, I, don't, I doubt this is where I wanna be. Link, are you alright? It would seem that the wind of the god Cyclos bears some ill will towards humans. As you go forward, to be wise not to try not to get sucked by any cyclones you see upon the sea. But if we only find a way to harness the power of those, those cyclones, then it might be possible for us to travel across the ocean instantaneously. Do you not have an item that could pierce distant targets? If you did, you might be able to obtain such power. Keep that in mind. Well, that's not obvious hints. Oh, this did put me in a good spot. Awesome. So, we were right here, and he put me all the way down here. Which is a lot closer than we were before. Oh, that's great. Okay. So, there's actually a multitude of spots he could put you. Is he over here as well? Hmm, I thought he only put you in spots where he was. There's actually multiple spots where that guy is. Stop here and throw this guy. No, 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 no. And by the way, our bombs we can actually use on the sea. As you can see, I actually pulled it out here as well. Holy hey, small fry. Yeah, yeah, give me information. Awesome. Because of that, we actually might be, we're probably making an outset in this episode. Yay! Southern Fairy Islands. Look at all those bottles over there. 
Oh, oh, I thought they just disappeared. Listen, I have small fries between you and me on outside island beneath the, the black soil. There's some treasure, serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but I'm serious. Try digging there. What? You haven't got anything to dig with? I'd say use an animal or something. Work smarter, not harder, small fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. Yeah, if you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait in the water for me. Sorry, but that's my false policy, fry. My false. Oh no. Alright, so we might have seen these islands already. Whoa. Oh, that's a fish. I thought that was a shark. A sharkity shark shark. Let's go to this island. Oh, I think I know which one this is. I don't think we can do anything at this one. There's actually multiple of these islands with these weird seashell looking things. And they all have similar purposes. So there's this, but we don't have any way to get in there. Ooh, it's another legendary blue chew. However, we do have this we can mess around with. The Dekuli, I haven't even pulled out in forever. Bam! And just rupees great. <laughs> and dang, sucker. Alrighty then. Nope. Nothing we can do here. <laughs> we have to come back here later. We're gonna see those watchtowers over there. I haven't actually been doing too many of minus those first ones I did, but that's okay, because we'll be doing them all eventually anyways. Yes, I'm trying to get you, Mr. Ship Guy. Let's actually take this moment to also change the wind direction. We'll change it to the south or west. Oh, I was already pointing to the south. That could have actually been good enough, but whatever. <laughs> I love the ooh face I make still. Hilarious. Hilly Billy Arius. Trying to, oh, there we go. Okay, I don't like you. Get out of here. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, outside island. I believe it's going to be that island over there. Yeah, it totally is. I guess the island between would be this guy. You know, we're gonna be we'll be going to that island. Well, not relatively shortly, but we will definitely be passing by that island eventually anyway. So let's just go straight for a windfall island. I was wondering, okay, you guys see my items there? The one that's at the very top there. I was wondering what the heck that was for a second. It's my Deku Leaf though. That has like a weird outline, a white outline. I, mean, I guess it's that way just because I can't use that on the sea like this. So, by the way, if you're curious as to why I'm not going to that island, it's actually another one of the reefs. Which, actually, with our bombs, we can now um, conquer them, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> we'll have plenty of time to do that later on in the game when I go exploring. Oh, it's primarily night. It's still nighttime. Jeez, when's the last time it was even daytime? I think it was before we got to Great Fish Island, which was, what, two, three episodes ago? Jeez, mate. Let's get this bottle. It's floating out in the middle of the sea here. Yeah. Yay! Interrupting the flow of the game. Whoa. <gasps> it's upside down face. Seven Star Island. Hufflepuff. Alright, well, that was kind of a spoiler towards an enemy later in the game, but that's okay. I honestly don't mind those spoilers just because um, they're just more of like little... What is that over there? Is that a bottle? That was maybe a glowy glow, but I don't think it's a glowy glow. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not... I, I'm okay with those spoilers because they're more teasers than anything. Oh! This is not Windfall Island. Oopsies. I'm gonna go this way. Is there a fish over here anywhere? Mr. Fish Guy? Mr. Fish Guy. I don't see him. Alright, uh, do we want to head this way? Yeah, we want to head this way. Oh, there is outset. Alright, let's fast forward this part just so we can finally get there. I'm sailing the seas Onward to death in the family of talking bees Have I made it there yet? I, I don't know. Okay, uh, uh. There we go. Yay, instantaneous teleportation once I get close enough. Have you noticed, Link? Morning has not broken since we- Whoa, did you see Link's arms like flail around there? <laughs> that was weird. Uh, morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle. The land that was ravaged by monsters is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we don't have to worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jabun after you do. After you do. Hmm. There's Beetle Shop Ship over there. Alrighty then. Yeah, we could do that. That sounds fantastic. Uh, you know, let's call it a shorter episode. <gasps> Choose! You were not here before! 
god! I will slay you! Ow! Ow, seriously. Good lord, I was doing so well. I didn't get hit by any enemies for the longest time. Not that I was fighting any enemies, so... <laughs> really, no chews at all. Fine. Or chew drops, I should say. So, yeah. Um, once again, this is like, I believe the only time we come here will be nighttime and raining at the same time. I, I like taking note of that. Look at the moon tonight. It's a uh, half moon, maybe. I don't freaking know. <laughs> Actually, really bugs me. At um, there's a restaurant somewhat near my house called Half Moon, Half Moon Restaurant, and it's and it, the like the symbol for it is not a half moon. It's a freaking crescent moon. It really bugs me. Whenever I bring that up, people are like, "Oh yeah, you're totally right. Why is it a crescent moon for it?" Should be called Crescent Moon or some crap, but anyways, in the next episode, we'll explore my hometown. So until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.